coming tonight doing a wine uh, blog and um, one of my vows for the new year is to get the lighting right on this stupid thing. Um, ugh, never mind, I'm just not going to complain about it. So I have like this angelic halo up here and then real colors down here. So um, I'm going to do the best, try to get through it. I promise it'll be worth it because tonight we are trying. 2011 Cornerstone Cellars, Willamette Valley, Chardonnay. And um, you know how you, um, you just get that taste, right? So we're having salmon tonight, and I know it's normally a white wine drink, but um, I really am craving Chardonnay, and I have no idea why, because I'm not pregnant, so that's out of the question. <laughs> um, but anyway, I just, I'm craving a Chardonnay because I'm, we had salmon last night, and so we're going to have it again tonight because it was so good. I told my husband I want to do it again, and so I'm, I'm thinking of all those flavors we had last night in our meal, and so I'm thinking, gosh... Chardonnay would taste really good because I told him to make it exactly the same way. So I am in anticipation of that same sh uh, salmon. And so I think the Chardonnay is going to just go oh awesome with that. So my uh, friend Craig Camp provided me with this bottle of 2011 Chardonnay Cornerstone Willamette Valley. So it is Oregon um, Chardonnay. It is a beautiful golden color. Um, and you know, when you swirl it around, it kind of has that illusion that it's kind of a thick, big white, which I don't know that you can possibly have a thick bed, thick, big white. Ooh, I forgot what I said. But anyway, so um, it just looks really yummy. I have tasted it before, but we're going to just do it again. Oh, get some apricot. It's a little... A little citrusy, but not huge. I'm trying to think of what that is I'm smelling on the back there. It's not butter. I don't think it's vanilla. It's a little bit spice. I don't know. I want to say lychee or lychee, however you say that fruit. Apricot. You definitely smell the apricot. Maybe, maybe an apple, but... Not a Granny Smith apple, like a Jonathan Gold or something really soft and sweet and all that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. I know that this, um, I believe this wine was, um, done in stainless steel, but then pulled out and done in some oak. And I want to say new or French oak. Um, I don't think Craig and them <clears throat> do a full on oak on their Chardonnays. It has, it goes in and it hits you mid palate. It's got a little mineral going on, little, um, tanginess, a, a citrus, acidic, right in the it actually, it, it doesn't really hit mid palate. It like hangs to the, it just like shoots to the back and that's where you get all that action on. Yeah, it's very soft. You taste very slight oak. And then it hits you with a little bit of a punch in the back, which um, has, it's a really nice finish. Um, the salmon is going to go perfect with this wine tonight. I am going to drink this wine. Um, and um, I'm excited. This is going to go good because my the way my husband makes the salmon like he did last night, it's just real simple. You know, it's a little lemon meyer, um, olive oil, some rosemary. and it, But his the salmon has like a creaminess to it, so it's going to go really well with this um, Chardonnay. I'm excited, and I'm glad. It was the only one I had, so... If you're watching this and you want to send me some Chardonnay I, so I can talk about it, that'd be great. Because, you know, every once in a while, I like a good Chardonnay. Mm. This one is really good. Cornerstone Cellars 2011 Willamette Valley um, Chardonnay. So it is Oregon. So hop on over to my website, winingwomen.com. Check out their website and you can order this online through them. Um, and they would be happy to sell it to you. 
um, especially for the holidays. It would make great gift for someone in your life that loves wine. So until next time, cheers!